Hey guys, it's me, Mason. Or, but seriously, you know, um, I'll be starting like, a new series that's actually based off of J um, Jason Drake's. Uh, let's talk about this or some shit like that. All that or this. I don't really know. I forgot, but uh, never mind. Just like, the series is basically based off of that series. I see. After when I saw the trailer for for that series, and I was like, you know, I can make a show like I can probably make like a scene like this. But then I thought about scrapped it. I had to scrap it because I didn't want people too soon. That was ripping off that show. I had to do it because I didn't really have any more video ideas. And yeah, so welcome to my series, Mason Review. Mason the review Mason reviews random stuff. Yeah. Mason reviews random stuff. Basically like this is basically just super active mostly get to you know have fun. Just do a lot of good shit. You know. And just review and do whatever the hell I want. I review and do whatever the hell I want in the series. No, most of where I just have book things. But today, guys, we'll be reviewing um the Super Mario Bros. Super Show. Yeah, I'll be super reviewing well, like a like a thirty year old show. But yeah, yeah. Um, I'll be reviewing Super Mario Bros. Super Show. Um. Which I didn't came out in 1999. Oh, I forgot. I forgot when it came out though. So yeah, forgot what year it came out. But, yeah. All right, let's get into review. Snap back to reality. All right, guys, let's get into the story. Before I show you do the story on like. Just tell you the story of Smart Muscle Show, like the plot. But, um, I need to show you on how it began. So, <clears throat> the Nintendo was really popular. Like, really, really popular in the 80s. Like, they were really popular. With, like, two, with a bunch of, like, smashing games, like Mario and Legend of Zelda and Punch Out. Like, like they were extremely popular. Like, like they straight up, so about that, it, like they straight up had everything, like, like from Nintendo underwear to suspenders, to freaking cereal bowls. Holy crap! Like Jesus Christ, they were really popular. Like they were really, really popular. The hell, even Nintendo theme rooms. God damn, I wish I had a Nintendo Mario theme room. But yeah, they were really popular, really popular back in the 80s. Like, they were extremely popular in the 80s. Like, I'm actually just, like, they were really, really popular in the 80s. <clears throat> but eventually, Dick Entertainment were like, you know what? Like, let's cash in on this, uh, Super Mario guy and this Nintendo popularity and I make and make a little show about it and that's what they did and we got Super Mario Bros. Super Show but not gonna lie it I actually have mixed feelings about it so so bear with me here um basically I actually would, I remember me loving the show when I was younger. No, I didn't grow up in the 80s. If I do remember, I would watch it on Netflix, though. I didn't remember that. That was actually cool. I, I would watch it on Netflix. Um, I do, um. And I, hell, I actually had no fucking clue on who Mario was, who the hell Mario was back then. I just remember. Or me finding the show on Netflix and me loving it. I actually didn't even know who Mario was until the first first grade. Yeah, she was the first grade. I didn't even know who Dale Mario was until the first grade. Alright. 
I have mixed feelings about the show. Well, before you say, Mason, how the hell do you do not mixed feelings about the show? I'm sure that's actually pretty ironic because your base looks so smart, you. But um, sorry about that, guys. I accidentally pressed the stop recording button. But um, yeah, I basically have mixed feelings about the show. Basically, like since I'm older now, and like. I just have mixed feelings about it, I guess. You know, like, my opinion change over time is pretty, um, I guess overrated. But, um, yeah. But, yeah, I just have mixed feelings about it. It was actually, not the way, if you actually do what, it's actually a pretty weird-ass show. No, seriously, it's actually a pretty weird-ass show. I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's pretty weird. But, um, and here, there's a wise here. I'm about to get into that now with my uh, thoughts and feelings, I guess. Sorry about that, guys. I accidentally pressed the stop recording button. But, um, yeah, I basically have mixed feelings about the show. Basically, like, since I'm older now, and, like, I just have mixed feelings about it, I guess. You know, like, my opinion change over time is pretty, um, I guess over it. But, um, yeah, but, yeah, I just, I just have mixed feelings about it. It was actually, not the way, if you actually do what, it's actually a pretty weird-ass show. No, seriously, it's actually a pretty weird-ass show. I'm not gonna lie, like, it's pretty weird. But, um, and here, why is it weird? I'm about to get into that now with my, uh, thoughts and feelings, I guess. Alright, here are my actual doctor feelings. But the smart bus it's bad. It's pretty bad. I mean if you were a kid, like if you were a kid and you were and you were an absolute Mario fan, like me, then you would definitely like it. Like, I'm pretty sure you would like it maybe. But if you're a kid and you like the Super Mario Brothers live action movie, no, not the Illumination one, it's a live action, the original live action movie, then you are smoking crack. And you definitely, and you're definitely in society. But I do, but, but not gonna I hate the movie, but I can't handle, but I will handle your opinion though. Oh, if you do like the movie, like, um, uh, for example, Black Nerd, Black Nerd Comedy, he actually likes the movie. He likes the smarter, smarter birds all back the movie. But now I really don't have a problem with that. I don't really care. Like, it's his opinion. Like, it's his opinion, you know? But if you do like the Emoji movie, then you're definitely smoking. Like, I want the more than ever you're smoking. To be getting you this how you like the damn emoji movie. That movie sucked balls. But 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 why the hell am I even talking about the emoji movie? I mean, I should be talking about Mario Super Mario Bros. Super Show. Yeah, the Mario Super Show with Super Mario Bros. Super Show. Like that, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, but guys, if I do dare you guys to uh say Super Mario Bros. Super Show really fast ten times, bet. I'm trying to do it. Super Mario Bros. Super Show, Super Mario Bros. Super Show. Which, you know, I don't want to do it. I don't want to talk. I just want to talk about my actual thoughts and feelings. But, um, so the Super Mario Bros. Super Show is pretty bad, I guess. Like, it's a pretty weird ass show, not going. Like, it's really, really weird. Like, really weird. So, how do I write this? How do I write this Super Mario Bros. Super Show? I guess I read like a one. A one point five out of ten. Not gonna lie, one point five out of ten. Or one point five out of ten. mushrooms in this case. But yeah, it's pretty bad. Look well, for a kid in your Mario fan for sure. You like it though. All right, this is my information and signing out, guys. Bye. So guys, when I was editing the video, I realized I forgot to uh. Say what I was gonna review next. So, what I'll be reviewing next, guys.
will be the Avengers of Super Mario Brothers 3. Yes, there's another Mario animated show. So, yeah, I'll be really dying for the next review. Um, yeah, that's about it. Oh, yeah. I also want to say, I also will be leaving the link, uh... To Nostalgia Kids and Black Comedy Nerds um, Super Mario Super Show Review. So if you want to go check those out, you can go check it out. The link will be in the description. So, yeah. Bye, guys.